well, we're here on day three. We uh, have a really noisy raven above us. Just got up. Took it a little, got up a little later today than we have been. Um, gonna head back out into the mountains. She got the black bear back to the truck and all dealt with there. And letting stuff air out a little bit. Got to get organized, get her game plan, and roll out. Well, we were riding back in from taking care of our meat this morning and uh, saw some sheep that were on the mountain that we'd been stalking them on the other day and so we decided to go ahead and glass a little bit. Uh, noticed that they were moving really quickly up the mountain. Um, kept watching them, got the spotting scope on them and uh, noticed one had been injured. Um, we saw some uh, other hunters on the mountain couple hundred yards below him at one point and uh, you could see that that ram was bleeding when he went across the snow patch uh, well, the one we were after the other day and he's uh, he went up over the top um, so we're gonna we're gonna head in with the hunters we watched them and they started heading back down the mountain um, it's pretty early in the day for that the weather's beautiful so we're gonna go see if uh, these guys intend on following up on this sheep and 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 going up the next tomorrow morning um, or if they're if they're leaving that sheep we're gonna go offer some help or or go up and and finish it off ourselves and bring it down so interesting and uh, we're just gonna go see what we can do definitely doesn't sit the best with either of us uh, so we're just we're just gonna go finish this job and, and make sure that they do or we do so we'll see you guys up uh, at camp They're right at the base behind on the in the chute behind it. It's like a grass like ski jump that would launch you like a billion feet. And there's cliff faces below it. They're not too far from their tent. Uh, we're up here enjoying some beautiful afternoon weather on this knoll. We went over and uh located the tent of the hunters that we saw up there with the ram that's wounded uh they're coming down they're they're 500 800 feet above their tent right now um making their way back so we're thinking we're just gonna jog over real quick and just check see what the situation is and um go from there find out find out if they need you know need, need maybe us to go recover the ram and they're done or if they're gonna go after that and finish the job a beautiful evening and just hope everything's okay with this sheep I know he's right now he's up there suffering or dead and uh, I think that's weighing heavy on everybody right now so we want to make sure that that's taken care of we've located three other sheep that are in an area where I've seen rams before on a spine that I've seen rams before um, and just the way they're sitting over there we, 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 we have a hunch they might be some rams. So we're thinking about heading that direction tonight over to a really cool campsite, making the hike in on them tomorrow as long as everything works out over here. And we'll start off over there right now, find out what's up. How you guys done? 
Start on a closer walk. Head to LA now. Yeah, Steve, good to meet you. Yeah, we came back, we came over the hill, we could see you guys at the top, so we're like, well, we better just check in. We thought we were a lot closer. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this time I'll just check in, make sure we'll see what their timeline was. Didn't know how long you guys were planning if you were towards the end of your... We're taking out more. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just had a, a quick time frame to come up here and try to get on them. And, yeah, we um, probably I mean, should I chase one this morning. Have but, attempted, but we came really close, so... Yeah, yeah it can't be this. Tomorrow. Somebody shot over that way. Oh, really? Maybe about, what was it, noon? Like that. Oh, you heard a gunshot? Yeah. Sure yeah. Oh, yeah. we were wasn't even okay. thought about it. It was close. We had two, uh, we had two sub legals up above us that had a pin, and then four rams down in a cut. We're going to vacate out of here in the morning. Yeah. So you got yeah. Okay. Did, you, well, did you see the other guys the then? Or? You know, we never saw them. They were on the far, you know, the far side. Oh, okay. And, um, okay. Yeah. And then the two that were had us pinned in ran up, mm -hmm. but we don't know. You know, we don't know what happened. I'm sure it was that one that we. They were like four or five. Yeah. Years. Okay. They, were, yeah. they weren't 150 yards from us for hours. Oh, gee. Forever. Somebody yeah. Yep. Can you Just, please and, leave? Uh, yeah, I got things to do. Get out of here. Those things. And you know, we started to bust them. We thought, but then if they run back with the other group. Everybody gets so, scared and they all run they all off. Leave. Yeah. So we yeah, thought we're, just, we're early. You know, we've got plenty of time. Yeah. We'll just wait and then there's the gunshot. Somebody right, else to beat us to it. How high up did you guys get? All the way. We saw you. Uh, oh, okay. Pretty far up. When yeah. We, right when we came across, so we probably wouldn't have seen you. Like you said you just right in there. We went all the way to the top. Not the. Not this. Not the top. Back. No. no. Yeah. 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 Big nose, and yeah. he was stout, and like he, he just walked like over, and, and his whole body like was just huge. Yards for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. But long uh, enough to long see, enough you know, he looked go. up, and yeah, he probably is. Because we had been watching those other three, see, at that mm -hmm. spot, and yeah. all of a sudden he pops up and comes over, and we're like, oh, yeah, there's that guy. And his, his bases were big, and uh, he had a flare out. I'm sure he was, you know, eight to ten mm -hmm. at least. And that guy, that, or whoever cool. it was right, right. on the other side, just got lucky with him. Yeah, a little sticker. Yeah, we don't want to step they, on your toe. Yeah, maybe they missed him. Yeah, yeah. Really, that was why we yeah. wanted yeah. to check with yeah. you. Yeah, you're fine. That's the worst. That's really, I appreciate that. Hall road hunting style, and you get a bunch of people around. Yeah, we just hate that. You know, like I said, we were here the day before, but that, you know, we left, you came in, so. Well, good luck, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to meet you guys. Safe journey back. For sure. See you guys later. We'll probably see our four wheelers down. Okay. I think we parked next to you guys, it must have been. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, check it Well, we just got back from talking to the folks that were hunting those sheep over there. Uh, real nice couple. Uh, um, later on in years. So. If I would have had my wife up there and I was 60 years old, uh, I think I would have made the same decision he did and not risk my wife's life. Uh, part of the sheep's got to stay up there and die. But he told us the story pretty much of what happened. Um, they got up where they were. And... Uh, got pinned down by two sublegals and had a full curl about 325 yards away from him, he said. And then they heard a gunshot from very close. And he said the rams then proceeded up over the ridge. They came, they waited for a few hours up there to see if the sheep would come back over. And then, um, began to descend down to their camp. So they said that they're taking off tomorrow morning. Steve and I are gonna move over there soon after um, they were happy that we came over and 
checked in with them, make sure everything was okay as far as, you know, they were taken off the next day and we weren't invading their, their hunting spot. Um, so when they take off tomorrow, we're going to go up and uh, follow the blood trail and track that ram to where he's either wounded at or, or has passed on and go recover that sheep. So that, I think both of us agree morally this is the thing to do. Sheep hunting's done at this point, I think, in a way for us. Now it's a, it's a search and rescue mission, pretty much, or recovery mission. And so it's, it's a huge climb. It uh, doesn't look like it's going to be easy, especially certain sections. But St Steve and I are both pretty confident we're capable of uh, pulling this one off and, and going and getting this ram out of these mountains so that uh, he doesn't go to waste. We're going to find a flat spot around here and camp for the night and pack up in the morning, haul, haul ass up. Why do we never pack marshmallows? That'd be gassy marshmallows. That would be horrible marshmallows, you're right. Okay, but once it's a clean flame. You must have put a lot of fuel in there. I did put I did put a decent amount. The rest is you, buddy. Not have my spoon out. I swear to God. Got your absorber out.